This weekend, Kevin Bacon will make his return to Payson for the 40th anniversary of Footloose. I'm Fox 13 News reporter Chris Arnold. While Payson High School's Bacon to Payson campaign helped get the man who played Ren McCormick back here, local businesses are using this celebration to also give back. The popcorn will be popping and the soda will be flowing. Of course, Footloose is like an amazing movie. It's a, a classic and iconic movie for Payson just because it was filmed here. While Kevin Bacon will be making his way back to Payson, it will also mark the return of his iconic movie Footloose to the big screen. So I've got permission to bring it in and we're going to play for the whole week from the 19th to the 25th. One dollar ticket. We've got well over 300 tickets sold at this point and it opens on Friday. Chris Phillips, the owner of Stadium Cinemas, telling Fox 13 News on Wednesday that those proceeds are going to a good cause. We're going to donate the proceeds to his foundation because that's what this whole thing has been about is promoting his foundation and supporting him in that. With the help of nearby businesses like Chubby's Cafe. Bring their ticket from their footloose showing. They go over to Chubby's and they get 10% off their meal and then we will take the ticket and for every ticket we bring in, we'll donate another dollar on top of her dollar of their proceeds. Other businesses in Payson are following suit. So it's our bacon special, and all 15% of the proceeds go to Six Degrees. Carol Stella Sanders is the owner of Stella's it's Crates. Like this, then I just got to turn it down a little bit. Whipping up her on. grandmother's recipe in this food truck since opening up shop almost a year ago. And that's what the movie does is it brings something amazing to that town. Something that continues to resonate with the people of Payson 40 years later. I mean, Kevin Bacon's awesome, but we also want to be part of the community as well. The amazing thing with Payson is the community is amazing. Bacon will be here Saturday morning, helping build about 5,000 essential resource kits along with the community to help distribute to local charities ahead of the prom later that night. In Payson, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.